Another episode of the Property Game of Tours, and it's high time I change things up a little bit. But here I am again talking in riddles. So what do I actually mean? I guess you guys are just gonna have to keep watching to figure that out. So you know how I usually do my property tours, video game style, with the camera behind me, above my shoulders? Well, as it turns out, a lot of the new and exciting properties here in Dubai don't actually need show apartments or villas to sell out. <laughs> so here I was, thinking of ways to actually present a property without being able to film in a show unit. And let's just say I figured out a little something for you guys, so kick back, relax and enjoy the show. Anyway, today I am here on a plot of land located in a place named after the ruler of Dubai himself, Mohammed bin Rashid or MBR city for short, also known as the Maidan district of Dubai. Now I've brought you guys here, or myself rather, for good reason because this very plot of land will have an upscale high-rise development from the very best boutique developer in the city known for its obsession with interior design and quality in all of its properties. No, for real, this boutique design-led developer has actually won multiple accolades and awards for their contributions to the Dubai real estate market and this time they've brought their first high-rise development in the prime locale of Maidan. Laced with a plethora of facilities and amenities that blur the fine line between hotel and residential building, I bring you a vertical village of a development here in Maidan, the Highbury. Now, in one sentence, the Highbury is a 29-storey high-rise building located in Maidan, offering views of the Burj Khalifa along with the downtown Dubai skyline and consists of studio, one-bedroom, two-bedroom, three-bedroom and four-bedroom simplexes, duplexes and a penthouse that will be handed over in Q3 2025. Developed by the interior design-oriented boutique developer Ellington Properties, this high-rise hotel in disguise will not only have one but two rooftop infinity pools along with a bunch of other over-the-top amenities that will make it pretty difficult for its residents to want to leave the premises. In terms of what these amenities and facilities are, I'm going to throw up the entire list on screen for you guys to be able to pause and read them right about now. But hey, who likes to read about that stuff, am I right? I mean, you're literally watching me right now, because somewhere at the very back of your mind, you want this video to be visually appealing. Hmm. Well then, guess I better live up to those expectations, so check out some of these amenities right now. Okay, let's go around the building and get in a little closer, shall we? Ah, there you guys are. Well, right behind me, as you can see, we have the infinity leisure and lap pool and a little Baha shell for all you sunbathers and suntanners and whatever. <laughs> Along with the lounging area that surrounds the whole pool. And just ahead of that, actually, we have the pavilion. We're gonna go in there a little later. But for now, I'm gonna tell you about the rest of this podium. So, as we zoom out a little bit, just a little bit, <laughs> you can see the cabanas that are right next to me. And uh, fun fact, this whole pool area, right, that surrounds the, whole, the entire structure of the pool is actually a 170 meter jogging track, right? Now, just across to my right, you guys won't be able to see it the way I do from this podium level, but we have an outdoor barbecue and dining area, right? What else do we have here? All right, let's move to the side to check out the other amenities, shall we? Now, as you can see, apart from all the greenery that surrounds me, we have a paddle tennis court right over there, right? And we also have an urban basketball court that you cannot see from this particular angle. But yeah, there is an urban basketball court. Take my word for it. <laughs> Moving on, what do we talk about next? Uh, let's talk about the kids' areas, right? Shall we? Come on, follow me. All right, so community lawn right here. <laughs> and a kid's splash pad and play area just behind that. And I didn't even cover everything that this podium has. But you know what, let's go back to the pavilion and head inside, shall we? Woo, did you look at that, guys? All right, so fun fact, this is where most of the magic happens in the building. Because this place is actually loaded with things to do, starting off with the lounging area that you can see behind me, right? We have a little communal table with a library wall right there. And just behind me, we have a kitchenette of sorts. But moving further, right behind that kitchenette, we have the cinema room. Come, let's check it out together, shall we? All right, so looks like a screening of uh, Black Panther, Wakanda Forever, am I right? Let's move to the uh, record music lounge. 
All right, so this is where you can record your tracks and play your instruments, you know what I mean? For those of you who are music enthusiasts, right? You have a ton of privacy over here, so blast away. <laughs> oh wait, I nearly forgot. We have a game zone over here with a pool table right behind me. Can you guys see that? As well as a ping pong table right over there. Let's walk to it. Oh, and we also have a kids play area right over here. Can you see that? <laughs> Moving on. Now this lower level podium pavilion has access to the upper pavilion. But before we check that out, let's have a look at the reception entrance and lobby area, shall we? Would you look at how high those ceilings are? Wow. Whew. Now as we move on to the upper level pavilion, you can see the yoga studio that I'm currently standing in. Right? No, for real, I'm actually standing in a yoga studio. <laughs> but yeah, enough about the yoga studio, let's check out the fitness studio, shall we? Alright, so we have a fitness studio over here as well with a bunch of cardio machines right next to me. As you can see some weights over here and a little space over here for you guys who like to uh, do your Pilates and whatnot. And yeah, by the way, there is also a spa for both male and female. <laughs> now you also get access to the lower pavilion, but let's head out of this place, shall we? And let's check out the second infinity pool that this building has. Okay, before you get distracted by all these views, uh, I'm right here guys. Hello, can you see me? All right, let's change the angle a little bit so you can see what I mean. Okay, so we are here on the 22nd floor and I'm going to tell you about the amenities as well. We have a second infinity pool with a Baja shelf, the sunbathers and santanas, with some cabanas to my left and a club lounge, but I think everything else is pretty self-explanatory, right? So I'm going to let you guys bask this view all in, right, and have a look at it for yourself while I change the angle in a bit. Hey guys, I'm right here, <laughs> but this is the entire view of the building. Right? Okay, hope you liked it. <laughs> Time to check out the show, not show apartment, but some renders of the interiors of the apartments here. All right, so we're gonna check out a two bedroom plus maids layout over here at the Highbury. And uh, yeah, this is the floor plan as you guys can see. I'm currently standing in it. And I'm gonna enter this apartment right now. Let's check it out. Mm -hmm. All right, so upon entering to my right, you guys can uh, check out the kitchen. Wait, let me change the angle actually. All right, so starting off with the kitchen, right? Uh, we have an island style kitchen over here with a nice island in the middle with a kitchen bowl sink. The appliances are integrated in case you haven't noticed. We have a gas stove behind me and an oven that is integrated into the panels as well. Along with the cabinetry that I cannot open for obvious reasons, but I'm pretty sure you have a built-in refrigerator and freezer that is already built in to this cabinetry, right? Attached to the island, we have a dining table along with a couple of chairs that you can put in. Right, this makes for a very intelligent means of space saving over here, right? Along with a lot of natural lighting coming in as you can see. <laughs> right, so we have the living room right next to me, but we're not gonna be checking that out. Instead, we're gonna have a look at the powder room first, so let's go. All right, so coming to the powder room, we have porcelain flooring. I mean, would you guys look at how spa-like this powder room looks? <laughs> right, we have a soft off-white finger tiled wall that surrounds me, but yeah, let's check out the master bathroom that is in the master bedroom. We're gonna save the master bedroom for last, shall we? Let's go. All right. All right, so from the looks of this render, we have a double vanity top, right? Shower cubicle over there with a rain shower and a toilet bowl just ahead of that. Can't see it, but it's, it is there, trust me. <laughs> oh, and I'm sure you've noticed the medicine cabinets along with the expansive mirror that goes along from the left to right along this whole vanity top. Check that out. Now, moving on to the master bedroom. All right, would you look at that, guys? A lot of natural light coming in from that window over there. <laughs> But yeah, we have a walk-in section for uh, wardrobes, per se, right outside the bathroom. No, no wait, over here. <laughs> Along with the master bedroom, as you can see, it's pretty much self-explanatory, right? We have uh, floor-to-ceiling windows that are expansive and a balcony over there, which I cannot check out for obvious reasons. But yeah, take it all in. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed this property tour of the Highbury, right? Don't get lost. I know the views are pretty tantalizing, but before that, uh, I just want to say that this project just launched in Maidan and they have good inventory. So feel free to reach out to me, Dubai's friendly neighborhood property man, www.dubaipropertyman.com. And if you'd like to book a free consultation with me, I've provided a link as well, right? Along with actually saying my website out loud, you can just click on the link, makes it so much more easier. Let me know if you guys enjoyed this style of property tours and I will probably make more of them down the road. But yeah, for now, enjoy these views, guys. Oh,